It's another Matt Day here with Teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time we're talking about ordering fractions. Now, when you say ordering fractions, we will be um, comparing fractions and we will be um, telling whether the fraction is greater than this one or the other fraction. Okay, so let's start with the first example. Place the correct symbol less than or greater than between the two numbers or the two fractions. So we have the first fraction is one half and the other fraction is one eighth. Now, I guess some of you knows that when you try to compare fractions which has similar numerator, all you have to do is to look at their denominator. So the bigger the denominator is, the smaller the function. So if we try to look at on that concept alone, we know for a fact that this one should be greater than, okay? Now, without that concept, you can also uh, try to tell whether this is greater than or less than in symbol. How to do that one? We can just apply our butterfly method here in which we will be drawing our butterfly wings on each of the numbers or parts of your fraction like this one. So this is somewhat like a butterfly. So this is what we call as a butterfly method. So all we have to do is to multiply those that are within the same wing. So we have here uh, one and eight, that will be one times eight, that's eight here. And then we have two times one, that will be two, that will be written here. And how to compare that one? So if this is bigger as compared to that one, then that means to say our symbol here will be this symbol. Because again, if you try to look at the symbol here as your mouth of your crocodile, of course, it will be eating up the bigger number. So that should be opening or the opening of your symbol must be on the bigger number. So this is now greater than. So we have one half greater than one eight. So that is how you use your butterfly method. So let's go for the next one. We have three fifth and eight ninth here. So again, if you try to compare that one, you are going to do a butterfly. You draw a butterfly on that. And then of course, this one, this is another wing, and you are to multiply the numbers on the same wing. So we have here 3 and 9, that's 27, and then 5 and 8, that's 40. So comparing the two, we know that this is bigger as compared to that one. So our symbol here will be opening towards 40. So we have this as the symbol. And of course, this is now 3 fifth less than 8, 9. Let's go to the next example. We have 5 12 and 7 18. So again, we are going to draw our butterfly wing. And then on the other side as well. And then we are going to multiply each number on the same wing. So we have 5 times 18. That will be equal to 90. So we write 90 here. And then we have our 12 times 7, that will be equal to 84. So we write 84 in here. And then we know that 90 is bigger than compared to your 84. Then your symbol will be this one, which is the greater than. So you have there 5 12 is greater than 7 18. So that is how you are going to tell whether your fraction is less than or greater than the other fraction. And that's one way of knowing what comes first or what should be um, arranged in a certain ordering. Okay, so I hope I've helped you in this one and I hope you were learning something from me. I'll see you on my next video. If you like this video, you can hit on thumbs up or like. You can also share this one and please don't forget to subscribe.